portfolio rebalancing. Many successful investors recommend to rebalance your portfolio. Portfolio rebalancing is the subdomain of buy and hold approach of investments. Why buy and hold? To avoid frequent trading. You buy and hold a security or a portfolio to avoid stock picking or market timing. However, a buy and hold approach is not literal, meaning even if you don't actively make changes to your portfolio, the composition will still drift away because of the market movements. Your investment strategy should govern your portfolio composition. This is very important. And when the market movements cause misalignment between the portfolio composition and the investment strategy, it's time to rebalance. The basic idea behind rebalancing is simple. You sell proportionally the securities which have made significant gains and buy those that have lost value. This way you should reacquire your original asset allocation. Let's look at a simple example to understand the concept. Suppose we created a portfolio in January 2017 comprising of 50% stocks, 30% bonds, 10% cash, and 10% alternative investments such as gold or Bitcoin as you never know what will happen there. Fast forward to January 2018. You look at the portfolio and realize that the stocks have increased and bonds have decreased. Now your portfolio is 60% stocks, 20% bonds, and there's no change in cash and alternative investments as they are still sitting at 10% each. It's time to rebalance. But wait, why? 60 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 still equals 100, so why make changes? You must rebalance because you should go back to your original asset allocation. And if you're thinking, well, the stocks have gone up, so why sell them? If they've gone up, that doesn't mean they will continue to go up or they will go up tomorrow. Remember, developing portfolio is not a hunch. A complete strategy goes into allocating assets in your portfolio, which is why you need to rebalance it to revert back to the original composition. In this example, you will sell some stocks and buy some bonds to rebalance 50% stocks, 30% bonds, and 10% each for alternative investment and cash. How often should you rebalance? On average, portfolios are rebalanced once in a year. But keep in mind that when you rebalance, it costs you money. Since you're buying and selling securities to rebalance, you incur trading costs. If you'd like to learn in detail how to diversify your portfolio, we have a free webinar on our website. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm Niall from SAMPT. See you soon.